My name is Sohail Essa. I'm that funny guy that you see on your phone every single week, Mondays, Fridays, and occasionally Wednesdays. And this is a story of my tour to Bloemfontein. Bloemfontein. We left at the crack of door <laughs> on Friday. That means we left at the time when we spotted Faisan's crack. <laughs> when we saw his ass, we knew that was time to leave. And that was one fateful Friday morning as we embarked on our journey to Bloemfontein. Road again, on the road again, on the road again. Oh, on the road again. On the road again. Take it with me, Shrek. I can't wait to get on the road again. We're on the road again. All the way. Hey, Cherry. Take us to Bloomfontein. Sorry, for now I can do that yet. What else can I do? You, you can't do that yet. Sorry, I'm still learning that. What else can I do? It's Bloemfontein in the free state. It's Cherry, don't listen. Just a mere two weeks prior, we had traveled all the way to Limpopo, Louis Trichard. We we're tired, it's getting towards the end of the year. This was meant to be the final tour, the final show for the beginning again tour. It's about a three, three and a half hour drive. It's quite, quite scenic actually, quite, quite beautiful. A lot of mountain ranges, forests on the way. Apparently, that's where J.R.R. Tolkien came up with the idea for Middle Earth. Because, you know, he grew up in, in Free State in Bloemfontein. And then when he wrote the book, Lord of the Rings, and he, that's how he came up with like Middle Earth. He looked at the forests and whatever, and then all these, the elves and stuff and the dwarves and stuff. and the hobbits and stuff. And that was just all like different types of Afrikaans people. What? <laughs> so just a quick piece of knowledge, fact. Take it, leave it, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> moving swiftly on. Entering Bloemfontein. Yes, we finally made it. After almost three and a half hours of driving. There's, there's some hills. I think that's, that's about it, huh? We arrived in Blo Bloemfontein uh, midday, we, uh, being Friday as a Muslim, it was time for us to pray. We didn't make it in time to pray at the, at the mosque, so we opted to just uh, pray at home and then embark on a little journey through Bloemfontein. The first place we, we went to visit uh, is known as Naval Hill. Yeah, we're going towards the Naval Hill. Yeah. Naval Hill. I'm taking a peek. Oh, okay. <laughs> Naval Hill. Naval Hill. Can you see inside here? Yes, i Oh, okay. Thanks. We had to see the giraffes. Yeah. Yeah, you are going to see it if you are lucky enough. There's giraffes on this hill. Yeah, they are. How did they get up here? I don't know. <laughs> Who put them there? I really don't know. I have no information about that. But what I know is that. At this time, uh, you're gonna find them very hard. So good luck. Sure. Hopefully. I hope I see a giraffe. Thanks. I What's your name, my man? Teboho Mlelekwa. Teboho. Okay. Yeah. You're gonna see this on on TV. Serious? Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm a celebrity. On <laughs> top of Naval Hill, there is a statue of a man who is definitely not Nelson Mandela. We are on Naval Hill. And this is the Nelson Mandela statue. Nelson Holihlahla Mandela on Naval Hill. But I must be honest, this don't look like Mandela. This look like Mandela's cousin at best. <laughs> this look like Mandela's like long lost twin brother. His, his name is like... Uh, Jackson Mandela. <laughs> There's Nelson and then this is Jackson. 
He's, he looks like he's, he's fighting for free Zambak. I don't know where you guys got your Nelson Mandela, but that guy was not Nelson. That looked like Chinese Nelson Mandela. It looked like South Korean Nelson Mandela. It looked like if Kim Jong-un and Mandela had a baby, it would look like the statue at the top of Naval Hill. Like, he, he doesn't even look like he's, 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 his hand is up like this. And it looks like he's saying, ha. Huh, but he's actually going, ha. Huh. <laughs> That's the sound it looks like he's making. It's crazy. In fact, the statue has Mandela's typical shirt. You know that shirt? That shwe shwe fabric. One with the designs on it that he used to often wear whenever he was out in public. I'm sure you know the one. You know the one. Yeah, If in fact... On the statue, if you look just underneath the, the, the shirt, you look underneath, it says made in China. <laughs> yeah, Bloom's got some nice views. Uh, I must be honest, I did not expect this. Not expect this at all. Uh, this is incredible. Ah, there's a, what are those? That looks like the Soweto Towers. Except it's here in Bloom. In Bloom, Bloom, Bloom. Actually, I don't know what I'm looking at. And later, we went to this science museum. I can't remember the name. Do you remember the name? I don't remember the name. Earth and Space Museum. Center for Earth and Space. <laughs> We're inside the planetarium. Apparently this is it. It's just, you should have changed the name to auditorium. <laughs> That's what, it's, it looks super high tech. Why are there video gaming chairs in here? <laughs> People are here to, to chill. What are they discussing in here? It's weird, there's even a piano, a whole piano. What happens here? It's like a music festival for, for nerds. You could not believe your eyes. <laughs> Ten million fireflies. Like, does this not feel like an evil boss comes out and gives a lecture here? Like, a, like an evil boss just comes out. Ha! Oh, hi, I'm, I'm Austin Powers' father. We're in Bloemfontein. Yes, guys, we're launching a new missile. It's gonna take off into space. Destroy the moon. Yeah, yeah, yeah in the middle of nowhere. This dome has this feeling of it never ends. Like you can kind of see where it ends, but it feels like that's not the end. It feels like there's something beyond. Are we sure this is it? Like surely this can't be the whole planetarium. There's one microscope, not a microscope, a macroscope, what do you call it? A telescope. Yo, yo, guys, you gotta come see this. Yo, I can see the whole moon. Yo, yo, I can see a message on the moon. It says, Faizan is a poor. Wow. Oh my God. Wow. Wow, you guys gotta see this. It's crazy. Even the aliens know, wow. Yeah, alrighty. The entire museum is literally an auditorium. A very fancy auditorium. It's like a little dome, it's like a half dome. And there's a massive telescope in the middle. But if you look through, you see nothing. Like you see nothing, like I tried looking through and Nazir just did this. And I was like, yo, they're South Africans in Mars. <laughs> I was I was shocked. So that was that was our dome. This is the Broomfontein Botanical Gardens. <laughs> Wild duck.
Bochong from Fun Sales. Okay, later. Hey, come on, man. Subscribe. Then share the video and click like. You know you want to. New videos dropping weekly.